Hi. Um, this is a video response to Peter Connolly's story. Um, that's fucking disgusting. That is disgusting. Neighbors heard um, things happening to this poor, beautiful little baby boy, and nobody did anything. I mean, come on. Um, 60 visits where they saw bruising on him and they didn't do anything. Uh, I don't know what kind of social services they have over in the UK, but I know that here in the United States, it wouldn't take 60 visits to get those children taken away. Um, something needs to be done. I don't know if there needs to be like a, a worldwide thing or or what but those parents deserve to rot in jail for the rest of their fucking lives um, they deserve a hell of a lot more than that I say a shotgun to the temple but I'm just a backwoods hick from Maine USA so what do I know I do know that if anybody ever touched my children the way that sick fuck touched um, Peter he wouldn't have he wouldn't have uh, fingers to beat my kids with. He probably would not have a life. I don't understand how anybody let this go on. Um, but something needs to be done. Five years um, with maybe getting out in three because she's already served two. That's disgusting. Uh, she killed her child. She may not have directly done it, but she let that man go into his room um, of course your baby's gonna be crying if he's hanging out and pissed and shit for days. Ah, uh, yeah, hello, that's what they do. Um, as far as him banging his head on stuff when, when the workers were there checking him out, that is a huge sign, a huge sign of distress. Like, kids don't normally hit themselves, um, unless they're being hit, and they tell you when you're searching for a daycare that, you know, you do like a, a week long or two week long evaluation where your kids are like going and they try it out or whatnot. But they tell you when you're searching for a daycare that if you've left them somewhere and you go to pick them up and they're clingy and then the next day you go to take them back and they scream and cry for you, that's them asking for help. You need to listen to your goddamn children, okay? Um, grandparents, you need to listen to your grandchildren, okay? The grandma probably knew that some of this was going on. Nobody did anything, okay? How many times can a kid fall down? Kids aren't clumsy like that unless they have a neurological disorder, okay? That child was probably fine, and still nobody did anything. It makes me fucking sick to my stomach, and... Um, I'm sorry to do this crazy little video response, but you can't type all this in comments, and um, it just makes me sick. I cried through the whole video. I have two small tr children of my own. I would never dream of doing anything like that. I don't know how anybody can hit a 17-month-old kid, and the computer-generated images that were at the end just is appalling, like... How could anybody, how could anybody do that? Like, he was so beautiful. I just, I just don't understand. And I think something needs to be done. Don't bother replying or anything like that. This is just how I feel. Actually, you can reply all you want. If you stand with me, great. If you don't, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, the guy raped a two-year-old was it a one-year-old or a two-year-old and he's gonna be out in less than ten years that is disgusting and I think it is probably in his best interest that his name never gets released because I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who would not hesitate to take his life and spend the rest of their lives in jail to honor Peter because if if the if the if the system is going to let the parents go that soon we've got to take matters into our own hands i'm not saying that we have to i i i know i just said we've got to take matters into our own hands but if justice is failing us who's going to do it if there's going to be chaos if if people aren't 
getting what they deserve and I'm sorry, but that seems to me like a fucking slap on the wrist. I bet as soon as she gets out of jail, she's going to have another kid and she's going to meet another man and the whole fucking thing is going to happen again in like 15 years. So what's even the point? Why don't you just fucking kill her because she killed her son, okay? Maybe that's a little bit extreme, but eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, right? I mean, in the case of a child, when they can't defend themselves, he wasn't even old enough to tell anybody that anything was wrong. The only thing he could do was scream and cry. And what did he get for it? Beat even more. That's disgusting. I'm sorry, but the justice system in the UK makes me want to kill myself. I'm glad I don't live there.